Hey guys, it's Michaela. For those of you who haven't met me, which is basically everyone in the world, I'm back. I know I've only filmed, I think, one one series video. For those who, of you, like the seven followers I have who did watch, I'm back and thank you for sticking by me and watching before. I wanted to do a recreation of a video, which is something I haven't done before and I'm super excited. So for those of you who don't know, there's a girl, I think in the UK, her name's Erin Rose. She's so, so, so good at makeup and she's like a major inspiration of mine. But she got famous, well, she already had like a little following, but she got to go on James Charles's story takeover and um, she did like this pink and purple look, which I wanted to recreate today because yesterday was her one year anniversary, she recreated her creation on the story. So I wanted to come in and try that out. So it's probably not gonna be as good or like even along the same lines cause I'm going off memory. So hopefully I do it some justice. But anyway, I'm gonna get into it and I hope you enjoy. So I'm just gonna prep my skin using the Simple Light Moisturizer and just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And also the go-to Face Hero Drops. They are so good. Skin, especially in winter, for those of you who are in Australia and are in winter right now. I mix the Face Hero into my moisturizer and just put it like all over my face. Oh, it smells like Fruit Loops. I really just slam that all over my face. So to get into it today, I'm just gonna start off with my brows as usual. I'm going in with the Billion Dollar Brows Micro Pencil and it's in the shade Taupe. So I'm just going to brush out my ruddy brows and fill them in. I like always mess up the top line but that's fine. So speaking of my last video, that video was on how to get, how to do your makeup for an interview and as I was saying like in the video I didn't mention where I was going for an interview but for those of you who live in Australia it was for Mecca and I got the job which was like amazing. So I've been there for three months now and it's literally been like the best job I've ever had. So I just turned 21 a couple of weeks ago and in my whole life I've had like over 21 jobs so I don't like staying in somewhere that I don't like if that makes sense so um, it's really cool because like at Mecca I can say I want to be there for as long as possible like I love being there and it's amazing like for those of you who don't live in Australia or know what Mecca is Mecca is like Australia's way of bringing international brands into a store in Australia so we have Sephora and we have Mecca, like we don't have like Ulta or anything like that. Basically everything else you want to get, you need to get online. So it's super cool that I've gotten the opportunity to come into such like an amazing place. It's literally like the coolest place I've ever worked at. It's so nice, they're so good to their employees. It feels like a family, it's amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna get my P. Louise base in rumor 2 and stick that on the back of my hand as well and carve out my brows and prime my lids. I'm sorry if you guys can hear like there's like banging wind, rain, basically like a tornado outside of this room right now and it's like so frustrating trying to talk over it. Someone's got like, it literally sounds like a washing machine's like running down the street. I don't know what's happening. And this brush is the brush that came with the Rumor 2 um, base. It came in like a little pack. And it's really good because like it's super flat and sharp. And literally all I have to do is like drag it across and it's a safe line. Last time I tried to film a video, it was like my favourite look I've ever done. So I'm spewing because the camera turned off and didn't tell me that it turned off just before I got into like the main part of the video so that was trash and it was gonna be such a good one and I know if I tried I could not recreate it because I literally just winged it and it came out good like I was like 
halfway through and like just triggered at everything trying to do it. It was not working. And then it came together, so. Yeah, and then on the outsides as well, I pat it out just where my brow ends. I don't even know if where I am in the camera right now you can see me, which is super annoying. I'm just trying like a new kind of setup, like um, with a tripod, so I don't have a viewfinder, so I can't see anything, which is great. Super amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna get into it. Pink with like a dusty rose in the crease, and then some other stuff. So. Erin's kind of like the person that got me into going in with like the dark colour and then the transition, not like the other way around. But in this, because she was recreating it, she was doing it how she did it the first way around, which was transition, then dark colour. So I'm going to do it that way as well, which is going to be annoying, but that's cool. We'll get through it. So I'm going in with the Secret Sinner palette and I'm going in with Infatuation, which is just a nice like pink shade. This is going to be such a hot mess. See, it's already like way too big. So I'm just going to keep packing that on until it's like where I want it to be. Pigment she uses, I already have, which is really good. Um, it's peaches and cream, of course, like that's her favourite. That is not even at all. <laughs> but because I have like super hooded eyes, I'm trying to make it a bit more blown out. So when I cut my crease, you can still see everything else that she had. Okay, I feel like that's like even enough. So then she went in with like a dusty rose kind of colour. So I'm going to go in with In Lust from the P. Louise palette. And actually take that one in my crease and it's already arriving up to where I did not put her because I am ridiculous at blending so I'm filming today and I was like I'm not gonna wear any makeup today because I'm going to get eyelash extensions tonight so now I'm gonna put like this full beat on and then have to wash it off go for a walk and then drive all the way to the other side of the city. So I live close to Melbourne, I don't live in Melbourne. I work in Melbourne and then the place I'm going is on the other side of Melbourne. So it's going to take an hour and ten minutes to get there and that's not even with traffic because I'm going, my appointment's at five which is like peak hour. So I'm just going to get classic extensions for a bit and see how they hold up. The girl I'm going to is so good, um, she's a makeup artist as well, so I'm gonna, well not as well, I'm not one, but I'm gonna link her or put a picture of like how they turned out like on the screen somewhere and see how that goes. So I think this is like, off of my memory, this needs to be brighter pink, so I'm gonna go in, so I've got the Huda Beauty electric obsessions. I'm going to go in with the pink in there and see if that lightens up. I'm literally just packing pink onto my eyes and it's like not going well. Wow, this is getting higher and higher by the second. But it's fine. It'll come together at the end. So just blend that new pink into the old pink. Bar out, this is high up. Blend, blend, blend. And now I'm just going to cut the crease again with the P. Louise. So it's just really cool because I haven't, I wasn't following Erin from when she, from before she was with James and I didn't follow her because of James. I just saw her on YouTube one day, like it came up on my suggestions and I was like, yes. And she's so funny, like her accent is so cool. So I'm just going to look up and cut that crease with the same brush that I carved under my eyes with and just going in like stamping motions. So for these looks, like even though I look up and find where it should be, I like to go a little bit higher than that just so I can actually see it. So 
trying to make it even as possible and then just patting the rest of the base down and evening out the edges like that so I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera just the base and then we'll go in with the rest okay so I've done them and they are literally they look like footballs not even like they're not circular at all but it is what it is anyway so then next she went in with the darker shades on kind of like I think like a flat angle brush sorry for my hands they're ugly yes um so I'm gonna go in like cut it across along the lash line with that pink There's like so much pressure when you're recreating someone else's stuff because you want to do it like justice and you don't want to like make it look absolutely horrid like mine does. Okay, so that's one colour and I'll go in with like that deeper colour again. By this stage, hers looked a lot more, like, purpley. So I might actually just literally, I might actually just go in with some purple in the outer corner. Um, so I'm going to use Addicted from the P. Louise palette as well. And kind of get that across the outer V of all that pink. Girl, I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm starting to really regret my decisions. Like one eye is not too bad and then the other eye is like Like this one's got like a cool like ombre with the pink and purple and this one's like. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go in with Mermaids, which is a pigment from Peaches and Cream that she used on top where it's cut. So I'm actually really excited for this part and I've got like another Bobbi Brown brush, brush and it's like, I don't know, really fluffy. So I really want to get more Peaches and Cream pigments because they're so pretty. I love this one because it's got like blue and purple and stuff in it. And then I've got Gatsby as well, which is like... This literally looks like a trash! Alright, so I'm gonna try and like fix that up because it's a, it's a no for me right now I don't even know how to like save this so I'm gonna go in with infatuation again which is the first pink very 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 first pink I put up and just kind of try and like outline the crease just sort of like clean it up Hers looks so nice! Oh. Okay, I kind of like it better when it's a bit cleaned up. Yeet! So I'm going in with that Huda Beauty pink again. Just to like really outline and sharpen that crease. But it's really just making it blurry. I wonder what happens if I take this off. Will the purple look good? That's a real question. It's like, not worse, but not better. All right, so I might see if I can kind of turn that purple into a liner. And okay, so kind of going 
back and forth with the liner brush. This look is like not even close to what Erin did. And I'm like crying about it. Glitter liner will help. Like if I was going as a fairy to a children's party, this would be bomb. Would look so cool. Everyone would be like, wow, Tinkerbell really knows her stuff. Kind of, sort of, not much better, but better. Like in her video, they were very, very like different shapes. And mine is kind of all just blended into the one thing. Not cute, not living. For this at all. Right, so I can't put mascara on. I will put lashes on. She was using So Sue by Sue Suzanne Jackson in I wanna say it started with W, like Winky, Wendy, something like that. But um Yeah, so I think it was So Sue and like Wendy or Windy. Something with a W, but I've only got one pair of Sosu lashes left, but I'm gonna try them anyway. I'm gonna go in with my Selfie Skin from Mecca. Very exciting. It's a foundation and concealer in one. So I'll be using that. And for primer, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Just cause I don't really need, like normally I'd mix it with um, my Mattifying Too Faced Primer. But I'm not wearing this anywhere but to the shower, so I just can't get over what my eyes look like. It's nothing like hers. But like I said, I was going off memory, so could be worse, I feel. Nothing similar to it, but could be worse. So I just take it on a brush first and then I blend it in with a beauty blender, so... So I've got my kind of damp, super dirty, because I haven't washed it. It's the Juno Microfiber Sponge, and it is literally, I reckon, better than a Beauty Blender. Like, it's got, like, these microfibers on it, so it's nearly like a brush. Like, it's fluffy and soft, and you can use it damp or dry, which they say you can do that with a Beauty Blender and all of the other blenders, but I find when I use something else dry, it really gets streaky. This one just pats it in, like, not gonna lie, I did buy two. <laughs> I bought one of these the other day. So they're $9 from Mecca, and I bought one a couple of weeks ago, and I used it, and I was like, surely it's just hype, like, it's $9, it can't be that good. Which is really trash for me to say, because I don't have the money to be picky, but I used it, and yesterday I bought 10 more, so now I have 12. It's just so good. I reckon anyway. I'm sure people have their opinions. Which you're allowed to. Anyway, so that's just like a light layer of the selfie skin. It's nothing too extreme. Because it's quite full coverage. But right now, with the Radiance Primer underneath it, it's very glowy. So I'm just going to go in with some NARS creamy concealer in Marin Glace which is like light and I'm going to put that on my cheeks because I like to blend the lightest part into kind of the colour of my foundation and this is a bit darker so it gives even a bit more dimension so then I go in with light from shut, nearly said it from Tarte <laughs> the Shape Tape Foundation Concealer! Oh my god! Okay, and just a little bit here and there. No, the huge. Another thing, like, I know all, like, the real techniques and the Morphe sponges have the flat part, but this flat part really gets in to the crevice under my eye like nothing else ever has before. So, I love that. Get into my nose flap. 
See, like it blends so well. I love it. Done. Then I just go in and set that with the Laura Mercier powder. Anyway, blend, 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 blend. Tap, tap, tap. Awesome. So for highlighter, I'm going to go on with that one first because I like to go in before my bronzer and then after my bronzer and blush. The highlighter we're using is the Anastasia Amrezy Highlighter. And I'm using a Mecca Cosmetica brush with that one as well. I'm just going in, because this is the one that Erin used as well, which love because like I finally have something that someone else is using. Cute. Anyway, we went up to bronzer, so I'm just bronzing with the chocolate soleil and just going on the normal spots, cheekbones, forehead, whatever it's called. And then just going down under my jawline as well. And doing that kind of three shape. Awesome. So now I'm just going to go in with a blush as well. Woo. So I'm just using the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder, which I think is like a blush and highlighter in one. So I'm going to add that on as well, make me extra glowy. Alright, so my camera is on 4%, so we're going to do this super quick. Just blend that up into everything because I like it to look put together on my nose as well. Alright, um, just going to spray everything with my mattifying spray. Oh, in my eye! And just quickly press that in. Alright, go in with a little bit more highlighter like I said before. Who is she? Is she a disco ball? Don't know. Alright, so I'm going to set up the glue for my lashes. Which are Allure from the Sosu Lash Bible. I think she might have even said Kendall in Sosu Lashes. Who knows? God, these lashes are thick. We're going sell out in Too Faced Melted Mattes. I would put lip liner, but we ain't got that like little time issue. If you can't already tell, I like to overline my lips. They are literally the thickest things I've ever seen. I've used all 50 of these lashes in here, or however many there are, it might be 30. And these are the ones I haven't touched because I've been terrified. Hopefully they come out cute, but they are thick! Alright, any oh, under my eyes, I'll do that while they're getting ready as well. This is blue, not purple. My bad, go over that with a pink. She also used a blue lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay. That broke. Um, Glide On Eye Pencil in Chaos. Which is also coming off purple. Awesome, let's try and get these lashes on because it's gonna be a mission. So can you see how thick those are? Oh my god. Right, I'm just gonna like let that try and dry. Like all of these bands have been really really good. But like this band is very different. This is like a two hand job, I swear. I can't see! <laughs> Definitely makes the look though. Do you think I can just get it like this? Screw! Anyway guys, apart from not being able to see a thing, 
and this glue is still super wet. This is a finished look. I am so sorry, Erin, for not doing it justice. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Hope you had a good time. Like, I'm crying right now. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>